Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS, and today there's been a few updates, and the first of which is that Clan Month has started today, which means that from today until the 31st of August, if you're in a clan, then you'll get 40% extra experience from Citadel skill spots, the Quartermaster, and Fealty rewards, and your clan avatar will give more bonus experience, damage protection, and healing. Sticking with the theme of clans, the clan camp has been reworked in order to make it easier to use. Berthorpe now has a recruitment area which has Vexillum stands and a teleport flag. The game will now remember the last guest clan chat that you joined and will automatically rejoin you when you log in. And the Vexillum interface now has a link to that clan's homepage. And in other news, the 1000th music track has just been added to the game and it's called Book of a Thousand Songs. This track will be unlocked as soon as you log in, and if you've unlocked all 1,000 tracks in the game, then you'll get a new emote called Demonic Rock Off, which looks rather cool indeed. The Demon Slayer quest has just been improved and now gives new rewards, including a wand and a lore book. If you've already done the quest and want these rewards, then speak to this guy in Farrok Chapel. And finally, Armadil's Tower has been moved slightly south of where it was before. If you want to see a complete list of patch notes for today's update, then click the link in the description below. The more noteworthy points of these patch notes are that a small buff has been made to Araxi's drop table, the Smoke Tendril's ability will no longer deal maximum damage with every hit, Asphyxiate, Destroy and Rapid Fire no longer stun NPCs, Pet Rhinos have had their benefits removed and are now purely cosmetic pets. A legacy toggle option has been added to the cog icon on the action bar. You can now hide the confirmation prompt when switching to and from legacy mode. And finally, RuneScape's Java certificates have been renewed, so the next time you log in you'll have to accept the new certificates if you play in the browser. And that's just about it for today's updates. If you found this video useful, then subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.